All right, let's look at this example where we've got a force, a 60 Newton force, and we want to express the force as a Cartesian vector. We want to break it up into its components. Uh, then we're going to calculate quarter direction angles. We'll do that later. Uh, but first, let's break it up into its components. And I notice I'm not given any angles. I'm just given dimensions. I'm just given dimensions. Uh, so if I'm given dimensions, I think F equals F U where u is r over r and r is how far how far does it go r is how far does it go all right so i've got the uh, magnitude it's 60 newtons so now i need u i need r over r so so what is its r its r is how far does it go how far does it go in the x direction that would be this length right there that would be 40 in the i how far does it go in y that would be that distance uh, it goes that y wherever it's labeled is positive axis so it goes minus 50 in the j how far does it go in the k direction it goes plus 110 in the k direction that is my r normally this would have units uh, meters, millimeters, or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter because whatever units I have on top or the units I have on bottom, they cancel out. So this one doesn't even give you units. Um, so anyway, there, there's my R. What is the magnitude of R? Well, you need to, here for the magnitude of R, we need to square 40 squared, 50 squared, 110 squared, take the square roots, like find the hypotenuse. Uh, A squared plus B squared equals, but this is A squared plus B squared plus C squared equals d squared. Uh, so don't forget to take that square root of that. Uh, I've got 127. So here we go. F as a in component form would be 60 newtons times r 40i minus 50j plus 110k divided by 127. All right? You can write it like that uh, or you can write it all of this divided by 127, divided by 127, divided by 127. Either way, you know that all three of those were divided by 127. And then I just want to multiply this through. F is equal to, uh, let's see, 60 times you know 40 divided by 127 would be 18.9 in the I minus 23.6 in the J plus 52 in the k units are newton so that is a major part of this problem expressing the force as a cartesian vector now i want to calculate the coordinate direction angle so this has nothing to do with dimensions you know if i'm given any vector and i want its coordinate direction angles what's my thought process it's f equals f u where u for coordinate direction angles u is cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. So there's my u. All right, so in this case, um, I already know the force in its component form. The magnitude, now I could do a squared plus b squared plus c squared, uh, take the square root, but I haven't done anything to this 60. It should still be equal to 60. So that's 60. So all I need to find is the u. So this is how I like to, to do this part. 18.9 in the i minus 23.6 in the j plus 52 in the k. That, that's the left-hand side of my equation. The right-hand side of my equation is 60 times cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. All right, so let me equate the i's. 18.9 on the left-hand side of my equation. We're, we're, that's all the i's on the left-hand side. And then all the i's on the right-hand side would be the 60 cosine alpha for the j's. Uh, negative 23.6 on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, 60 cosine beta. And the k's, 52 is the only k on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, the only k would be 60 times cosine gamma. So from that, this equation right here, I would get, pl plug it in my calculator, I would get alpha is 71.6. Here I would get beta is 113. And here I would get gamma is 30 degrees.